a flea has four different cycles. You got the egg, larva, pupa, and adult. And out of all the different stages, there's only 5% adults. So when people come into the house and they get bit, they're only seeing 5% of the actual fleas that are there because those are the adults. The real problem are the eggs, the pupa, and the larva. And that's what a professional pest control technician will take care of. Okay, so when you hire a professional to come in, what they do, they bring a, a hand pump and their chemicals, which this is already mixed. What we normally do is walk through the whole house to estimate how much carpeting and how much furniture needs to be treated. If you have a hardwood floor, it really doesn't need to be treated as much as carpeting in that. And like for an example, like this room, like this chair over here, this needs to be treated. So what we do is we basically spray back and forth, cover the whole chair lightly with the mist, and then we take the pillows too, and we treat them like that. And what that does, it'll kill any of the adult fleas and it also has a growth regulator, it's called an IGR, and a growth regulator takes care of the eggs and the pupa and the larva, and it kind of breaks your life cycle. In that. And that's why it's important after you treat a house for fleas, and again, going back to the customer treating it themselves, they'll think, hey, everything's great, then two weeks later, they have a whole other population of fleas. It's because they're not using a growth regulator, and that's so important to break that life cycle of... Uh, of the fleas and the, the cost it costs to do a typical size house is actually less than somebody going out and buying all their products and then after two weeks or three weeks they got fleas again. So the majority of the homes I do are people that tried to fix it themselves and then afterwards they ended up calling a professional and we guarantee all of our work. Okay after the treatment's done and you come back into the house the most important thing you can do is, uh, is vacuum. Uh, another little trick you can do when you vacuum, which I tell my customers, is you buy a little, uh, like a flea collar, like for a cat or a dog, and cut it up in a couple pieces, put it inside the vacuum, and then as you're vacuuming, all the fleas that are being vacuumed up, they're going into the bag, and they'll die from the f uh, flea collar. And on a, on a real nice hot day, put the whole vacuum outside so it heats up and it'll kill the fleas as well. So that's the most important thing the customer can do after a flea job is vacuum, vacuum, vacuum. Do that every day for several weeks and you'll have a flea-free home.